Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches. This week, fall break is over and the kids are headed back to school. So I'm excited to make them some really fun lunches this week with really fun themes. And one of the lunches is going to include totally new foods that the kids have never tried before. Now hit that red subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and let's get started. Hey guys, and welcome to Monday. For today's lunch, I'm going to be using our Bentco boxes. And as you might be able to tell by these baby shark napkins, I'm going with kind of an ocean theme for today's lunch. I have a couple different sandwich cutters to choose from and I've dug out all of my ocean themed food picks as well. So for the main course of today's lunch, I'm going to be making a delicious sandwich. Inside the sandwich, I'm going to add slices of honey ham and Colby Jack cheese. I think these turned out super cute, especially since I went ahead and added these little eye picks in here as well. So now that the main course is done, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the sweet treat. For this, I'm gonna start by preparing some vanilla jello pudding. To save time, I'm using instant pudding. All I had to do was add milk and chill for five minutes. And I decided to make this pudding a little bit on the thicker side. So now that the pudding is ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and set it to the side and I'm going to bring back the lunch boxes. And that's because I'm going to layer the dessert directly in the lunch boxes. For my first layer, I'm going to start with some cookies. Today, I'm just using some of these Lorna Dune cookies. These claim to be shortbread cookies, but these definitely don't taste like a traditional Scottish shortbread cookie at all. To me, they're more just like a vanilla cookie. But I do like that these cookies are square, so they fit really well in the lunchbox. For my next layer, I'm going to need a banana. This banana is perfectly ripe, not too green, but not too spotty either. Now, I'm guessing a lot of you can probably already tell what I'm making, and if you guessed banana pudding, you would be correct. If you've never had banana pudding before, it is definitely an old-time classic. In fact, this always reminds me of my grandmother, although she made hers a little bit differently. So basically, I'm just taking this one banana and I'm slicing it directly into the lunchbox. I want a nice, sort of thick layer of banana in here. And now for my next layer, I'm going to add about three tablespoons of the vanilla pudding. I think this is such a delicious combination. And I'm going to use my spoon to make sure that the vanilla pudding gets spread out nice and evenly. It's going to help trap those bananas in the center. And that's really gonna help them not turn brown in the lunchbox. Next, I took the rest of the shortbread cookies and I crumbled them up. That way it kind of looks like sand that you might find on a beach near the ocean. Now, just for fun, I'm also going to stick a cute little umbrella pick into each lunchbox, just like an umbrella that you might use at the beach. And then last but not least, I'm going to top off this sweet treat by adding one single Swedish fish directly on top. And even though it doesn't make a lot of sense for that fish to be on top of the sand necessarily, I'm going to go ahead and add them anyway. Next, I'm going to go ahead and prepare some veggies. And for the kids' lunches today, I thought it would be really fun to use this teeny tiny dolphin-shaped cutter to stamp out pieces of cucumber and carrots. This is actually really easy to do. And to make it look extra cool, I did go ahead and swap out the center of the carrot and the center of the cucumber. To go along with the veggies, I'm going to add in a little container of ranch dressing. It looks like I have just enough space right over here. Now, so far, I think these lunches are looking awesome, and it looks like I have just enough space to add in a snack. To keep the snack separate from the sandwich, I'm going to add a star-shaped silicone liner into each of these sections. Now, instead of using just regular goldfish crackers, for our ocean-themed lunch today, I thought it'd be really fun to add these cheddar whales instead. Now, I found these cheddar whales at Walmart. In fact, that's the only place I've ever seen these crackers. They are pretty similar in taste to a goldfish cracker, but they're not identical. I'd say they're not quite as cheesy as goldfish crackers, but they're still really tasty. And I do think that that whale shape is just so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and add a scoop into each lunch box. And then for the kids drink today, they're just gonna be taking their water bottles. After the kids get home today, I'll show you what they ate. First up, we have Yay. Lily's lunch. What'd you think, babe? Pretty good. Looks like you ate most of it. What was your favorite part? Um, hmm, the vegetables. The vegetables? 
Really? Who are you? <laughs> Next up, we have Jackson's. What'd you think, bud? It's really good. We did a good job. I still see some vegetables. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the pudding and the sandwich. Oh yeah, cool. All right, and last but not least, we have... Mackenzie. Mackenzie. What'd you think? I liked it. What's your favorite part? My favorite part was probably the banana pudding. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Good morning, guys, and happy Tuesday. Today's lunch is inspired by Care Bears. My friends over at good to grow recently sent me these ultra rare Care Bear toppers, and I am totally in love with them. So I'm going to try to add as many bear-themed items into today's lunch as I can. And that means I am bringing out my bear snack containers. Now, I've actually had these guys for a long time. These little containers came from the Dollar Tree. It was many years ago, so I'm not quite sure they still have them. For the main course, I'm going to make a good old PB&J. And to make them, I'm going to use this bear-shaped sandwich cutter. Now, I actually found this guy on Amazon, and it actually came in a kit that also included a cat shape, a pig shape, and a frog shape. And it also came with this handy tool that is perfect for getting small details out of a cutter. So if a little piece of bread gets stuck in here, I can easily pop it out. So for these sandwiches, I'm starting with some good old white bread. I'm going to go ahead and use this Jif whipped peanut butter. And for our bear themed lunch, I'm gonna go ahead and use this blueberry jam. Now sometimes with sandwich cutters, I like to build the sandwich first and then cut it out. But for this type of sandwich, I think it works a lot better to go ahead and cut the bread out first and then add the filling. So once I've removed the crust from the bread, I'm going to take this next piece and I'll go ahead and press it into the bread to create the bear shape. And then for this particular cutter, I make the PB&Js a little bit differently. Normally I would put peanut butter on one piece of the bread and jelly on the other. But since I just made a bunch of holes in the other slice of bread, you know where the bears eyes and nose are. I'm gonna go ahead and spread out the peanut butter layer first, then I'm going to add the blueberry jam layer directly on top of it. Now I'm going to try to spread this out as evenly as I can. Making sandwiches like this really are cute and super fun, but I have to say this sandwich ends up being kind of a dainty sandwich. So if your kid's a really big eater, you might wanna make two of these. But since I'm gonna be adding a lot of other things to the lunch boxes today, I'm just gonna make one sandwich per kid. I think these sandwiches turned out so cute, they definitely put a smile on my face. To go along with these sandwiches, I'm also gonna be adding in some strawberry Greek yogurt, and I'm going to top each yogurt with a strawberry that I cut into a heart shape. Now, I definitely wanna go ahead and add more fruit into today's lunchbox. So in the back section, I'm gonna go ahead and add a handful of blueberries, and I am gonna go ahead and add one of these cute little bear picks into each lunchbox. And then next to the blueberry, I'm going to add a few whole strawberries as well. And then in this other section, I'm just gonna add a handful of baby carrots. Those don't really go with the bear theme at all, but I did wanna give my kids some sort of veggie, so carrots it is. Now to go along with the carrots, I'm adding a small container of ranch. Of course, I found the containers with the little bears on the top. And I think if I move the sandwich over just a bit, I'll be able to fit this container right in here. Okay guys, now don't think I forgot about those bear-shaped snack containers. In those containers, I'm going to add some Teddy Grahams. My kids love Teddy Grahams, and since these little graham cracker cookies are already in a bear shape, they are perfect for today's lunch. To complete these lunches today, I let each kid pick out their own drink. Mackenzie picked fruit and veggie juice, Lily picked grape juice, and Jackson chose fruit punch. Now, before I close up these lunch boxes, I definitely wanna go ahead and snap a picture of these lunches. I just love how colorful they turned out, and I wanna be able to post this over on the Family Fudge Instagram. Definitely come follow me over there. I share lots of our everyday activities and some behind the scenes pictures. And of course, when the kids get back home today, I'll show you what they ate. We're back home now, and here's what we ate. All right, let's start with Jackson's today. What'd you think, Jack? It's really good. Oh, you did pretty good. What was wrong with the blueberries? Uh, I never tasted blueberries in a while, and I taste weird. Um, what was your favorite, Jack? My favorite was the carrots and the yogurt. Carrots and the yogurt? Mm-hmm. Good job. Should we check Kenzie's next? Yep. 
Okay. Oh, pretty good. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the sandwich. Mm -hmm. And last we have... Lily. Lily's. Oh, your box got messy, huh? Yeah. Ooh, that berry got a little bit juicy in there, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, what was your favorite part? The carrots. I eat all of them. The carrots are your new favorite? Uh-huh. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I like that. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. For today's lunch, I'm going with a Star Wars theme. Instead of starting with the main course first, I'm actually gonna start by making the dessert. So for the dessert today, I'm going to bake up some of these Star Wars sugar cookies. Now, so far, I've only ever seen these at one store, and that store is Aldi. I've never seen them anywhere else. And I find it really interesting that this box says right on here that these are holiday shaped cookies. So when I see holiday cookies, I'm thinking like a snowman shape or a Christmas tree, not necessarily Star Wars. But even though that's a little bit strange, that's not gonna affect how they taste at all. I'm gonna go ahead and cook these on a parchment lined cookie sheet. And I'm pretty sure that these cookies won't get much bigger. So I'm gonna place them pretty close together on my cookie sheet. So while those are in the oven, it's time to make some sandwiches. So I'm gonna take several slices of our favorite Wonder Bread, and before I start filling these sandwiches, I'm going to cut off all of the crusts. Now for my next step, instead of adding mayonnaise to these sandwiches, I'm going to be adding some cream cheese. And this is the kid's favorite flavor, which is garden vegetable. I'm going to add a thin layer to each slice of bread. Next, I'm adding a couple of slices of smoked turkey to each sandwich, and then I'm going to close them up. These turkey cream cheese sandwiches are super simple, but my kids love them. I wanna go ahead and use my Star Wars shaped cookie cutters. Today, I'm using this Yoda shaped one. And after I punch this through the sandwich, I'm actually gonna leave it just like this. That way the kids can actually eat the entire sandwich but it's still gonna look really cool. And then for these other two sandwiches, I'm going to do the exact same thing. For this one, I'm using the Darth Vader shaped cutter, which honestly, I think kind of looks like a Christmas bell. Don't you guys think it looks like a bell? And then in this other sandwich, I'm using the R2-D2 shape. Now I'm gonna put these sandwiches in the lunch boxes just as they are, but if you're worried that your kids might lose your cookie cutters, I probably wouldn't send them. And check it out, you guys, our cookies are done. I am pretty proud of myself for not burning these. These little cookies cook super fast, and I know from experience they don't taste very good if you overcook them. So now it's time to quickly get everything into the lunch boxes. Now, because I've made several Star Wars themed lunches before, I actually have quite a lot of accessories, including these miniature lightsaber food picks. These are so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and add one into each lunchbox just because I think the kids will get a kick out of it. Darth Vader gets the red lightsaber, Yoda gets the green lightsaber, and even though R2-D2 doesn't have any hands, so I don't technically think he can use a lightsaber, I'm gonna give him the blue one. For the fruit, I'm giving the kids a mandarin orange, and I did go ahead and peel it already and I added a BB-8 pick as well. And then to go along with this, I'm also adding in some crackers, but I thought it would be really fun to add these star-shaped crackers. For the kids' snack today, I'm also gonna be adding in a drinkable yogurt. I only have three more of these. These are the same Star Wars ones I used in last week's lunch. And then in the last open section of the lunchbox, I have just enough space for three of these little cookies. And then finally, I'm also gonna throw in these really cute Star Wars drinks. Since Jackson has a Yoda sandwich, I'll give him the Yoda drink. Then since Lily has the Darth Vader sandwich, I'll give her the Darth Vader drink. And then I guess Mackenzie gets the Stormtrooper? But wait a minute, I'm like 100% positive that I have an R2-D2 juice topper as well. Hang on you guys, let me go see if I can find it. Yay, I did find it, you guys. I knew I had to have at least one of these. And there you have it, guys. These Star Wars themed lunches are out of this world. And of course, when the kids get back home today, I'll show you what they ate. We're back home now, and here's what we ate. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. 
We're back home now, and here's what we ate. That's much better. <laughs> okay, who should we start with first? Mine. Oh, Lily. So, what do you think, babe? Um, pretty good. Pretty good. What was your favorite part? Um, the cookies. Cookies, of course. Should we do Jackson's or Kenzie's? Mine. Kenzie's. Good job. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the sandwich. Oh, the cream cheese oh. sandwich? Yeah. And last up, we have Jackson. My favorite part was the yogurt drink and the cracker. Good job today, guys. See you tomorrow. Hey, guys, and welcome to Thursday. Today's lunch is going to be all about trying new things. Now, of course, you guys know I'm a huge fan of my own bunches of lunches lunch kit, which you can find on Amazon. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. But now even though I have my own lunch kit, I'm always very eager to try new things. So this is called the Bewitched Lunch Kit, which is actually a really clever name because it's mostly sandwich cutters. But you guys, these are actually sandwich cutters I've never seen anywhere else before. So this kit comes with a few little food picks. These are the same ones that come in the Bunches of Lunches kit. This also comes with some medium and small shaped cutters. And check it out you guys, this comes with 10 different sandwich cutters. There's this one, which is either a heart or flower shape depending on how you look at it. There is a car shaped one, this cute little cupcake shape. This one looks like it might be a bear shaped one, which would have been perfect for Tuesday's lunch. Now I love this little bunny shaped one. There is a pig shaped one, a rocket ship, a rainbow one, which you guys know I love. Then there's also a pony and a bird shaped one. For today's lunch, I'm gonna go with a cupcake. Now before I get started on these cupcake shaped sandwiches, I'm very curious to see how these cutters fit on my bread. You know, sometimes I'll find a really cute sandwich cutter only to find out that it's actually too big for my slices of bread. Now overall, the only cutter that looks like it's too big for my bread is the pony shaped one. All of the rest of the cutters actually fit really well. They're almost exactly the same size as my bread, which means they'll really just end up taking off the crust. So, so far this kit is getting a thumbs up from me. So for these sandwiches today, I'm going to put them together a little bit differently. On my first three slices of bread, instead of adding mayonnaise, I'm going to go ahead and add about half a tablespoon of ranch dressing. I know my kids love ranch dressing on things like vegetables and pizza, so I'm hoping that they're going to like this in today's sandwiches too. I'm going to go ahead and spread out this ranch in a nice thin layer, and then on the other three slices of bread, I'm going to add just a little bit of mayo. And I do mean a little bit. I'm literally scraping the bottom of my mayonnaise jar, so I'm definitely going to need to pick some more up when I go to the store next time. Next, I'm going to add one slice of deli meat into each sandwich. Next, I'm adding one slice of Colby Jack cheese, and then I'm going to top it all off with a few slices of bacon. So basically, I'm going for a chicken bacon ranch flavor profile. I think this is a super tasty combination, but we usually only have it on pizza. And then before I add these sandwiches to the lunchbox, I'm going to cut them out with the cupcake shape. Overall, I'd say this cutter worked out really well. Now you guys, since this is the lunch full of new things the kids have never tried, I thought it would be really interesting to add in these guys. Now I know these look kind of crazy. They almost look like some kind of monster or alien with all those spikes on there. When I was at the grocery store, I was looking for some kind of interesting fruit. And when I saw these guys, I thought they would do nicely. Now I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce these fruits. The package says Rambutan, something like that. These are actually grown in Guatemala, and the package says that they're sweet and juicy with an easy to peel exterior. So you're not supposed to eat the pokey parts, just what's inside. So now I'm gonna go ahead and peel just three of these per lunch, since I'm not quite sure if the kids will like them or not. Now you guys, I just tried one of these things, and they really do have sort of a mild sweet flavor, but the texture is kind of like a peeled grape. If you've ever had a peeled grape, it's kind of like that. 
Next, I'm also going to be adding in some pretzels. Now, of course, my kids have had pretzels before, but I've never been able to find these round pretzels before. And I really think the round shape makes these perfect to turn into holiday treats. For the vegetable, I'm going to add in some celery sticks, but instead of filling these celery sticks with peanut butter like you might if you were making ants on a log, I'm going to go ahead and add some of this garden vegetable cream cheese instead. So it's more like a savory version of ants on a log. I'll go ahead and fit these right into here. And then I have just a few more things to add. Now because I'm not sure if the kids will like this new kind of fruit, I'm also gonna throw in these little packages of freeze-dried fruit as well. And then for the sweet treat, something really special. I'm gonna be adding a cupcake-shaped marshmallow. Now I actually found these at Walmart in the baking section. They actually had a lot of interesting shaped marshmallows. They had these cupcake ones. There were also peach-shaped ones. They had cherry-shaped ones. But to go along with a cupcake-shaped sandwich, I think these guys are perfect. And then finally, for their drink today, the kids are just gonna take their water bottles. Okay, time to see how they did. Lily, why don't you go first? Open it up. Okay. What'd you think? Um, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good? Did you try the special fruit? What was your favorite part? My favorite was the pretzels. Okay, Jackson, you're next. Let's see. Okay. Oh, did you try your fruit? Yeah, it tasted weird. It's a ginormous grape, but that's what it is. <laughs> I see a lot of it left over. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the sandwich. And the Kenzie, what was your favorite? My favorite part was probably the cucumber things with like the cream cheese inside, but I stopped eating that because like the like the things right here, they've been getting stuck in my teeth. Oh, I see some There's... celery left in all of your lunches. The celery not your thing now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not like it now? What'd you think of the special fruit? I don't really like it. No. Me Next time I'll just get regular grapes. How about that? Mm -hmm. It looks like a mix of a grape and a dragon fruit. Like oh, a dragon yeah. fruit on the outside, but like a grape on the well, inside with, with, the, with, with, the, with the almond seed. Yeah, it does look like an almond in the middle. Mm -hmm. You guys did a pretty good job at trying new things. See you tomorrow! Happy Friday, guys! For today's lunch, I have another interesting sandwich in mind. For these sandwiches, I'm using some nice soft bread, and I'm also going to be using my Pampered Chef sandwich cutter, and this is the one that makes copycat uncrustable sandwiches. So not only does it cut the bread, but it also seals it into a pocket. Now I know that normally with an uncrustable sandwich, you're gonna have some kind of nut butter and some flavor of jelly. But for today's lunch, I'm gonna be making a savory version of the uncrustable sandwich. For these sandwiches, I'm going to start by adding a handful of shredded mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna try to fit as much cheese in here as I can, and I'm gonna try to keep all the cheese in the center of the sandwich since the edges are gonna be cut off. Next, I'm adding several slices of turkey pepperoni, and even though some pizza sauce sounds like it would be really delicious in these, I decided not to add any. And that's because I think pizza sauce in here would make my sandwich really soggy. So I'm just adding a bit more cheese on top, and then I'm going to close the sandwiches up. Okay guys, so now it's time to see whether this is going to work or not. I might have filled these sandwiches too full. I'm really hoping I didn't add too much filling to these sandwiches. And check it out you guys, this actually did work pretty well. But as you can see, I do have a little bit of a tear right here which means next time I'll probably put a little less filling. So now I added these sandwiches to the lunch boxes and I decorated the top of them with an extra piece of cheese and an extra pepperoni slice. And that's so that they would kind of look like a pokeball. For the fruit, I'm adding some green grapes and for the veggie, I'm adding some carrot coins. So as you can see, I'm adding lots of round and circle shaped things into today's lunch. I'm adding in a little container of ranch to go along with the carrots and then I have a few more things I'm hoping will fit around the sides of the sandwich. For the snack today, I'm adding a little baby bell cheese. Now, sometimes my son Jackson likes these and sometimes he doesn't, so hopefully he'll be in the mood for this today. 
I did go ahead and take off some of the wax on the outside just so it would look a little bit more like a Pokeball as well. Next, I'm gonna fill in this section of the lunchbox with more balls. These are just little cheese puff balls. They're kind of like Cheetos. And then last but not least, for this special treat today, I'm going to add one little bag of Pokemon fruit snacks. Oh yes, and they're also having water again for today's lunch. We're back home now and here's what we ate. Hi. Okay, whose should we check first? Mine. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, kush, tiger, bow, toe, and who's over here? Okay. Jackson is first. Oh, pretty good, Jackson. What'd you think? It was really good. What was your favorite? Oh, uh, the sandwich. Oh, did you like the sandwich Uncrustable or was it weird? Uh, it's kind of weird, but it's really good. Here we have Lily's. What'd you think, Lily? Um, pretty good. Pretty good. You ate most of everything. And then we have, oh, sorry. What was your favorite part? I forgot to ask you. Oh, um, it was the baby bell cheese. Baby bell cheese. And then finally, we're gonna check Mackenzie's. Ooh, what'd you think, Mackenzie? I, it was really good. Yeah, what was your favorite? The cheese balls. The cheese balls? Uh-huh, but I got really full, so I didn't eat a lot of them. Yeah. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye. Now you guys, I'm finding it really hard to decide which lunch of this week was my favorite because I think they all turned out super fun and colorful. But you guys let me know out of all of the lunches this week, which one was your favorite? Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.